Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps scene. In this video, we are going to talk about Prometheus and in this video, we are going to learn configuration. That means Prometheus configuration. So let's start. So in Prometheus, uh, there are two way to configure files. That means Prometheus is a configured via command line flags as well configuration file so in command line flag while the command line flags configure immutable system parameters such as storage location amount of data to keep on a disk and in memory and in configuration file the configuration file defines everything related to scrapping jobs and their instances as well as which rule files to load so to view all available command line flags you can run the command prometheus hyphen eh and Prometheus configuration is YML. The Prometheus downloads comes with a sample configuration in a file called Prometheus.yml. And if you remember, we have uh, run Prometheus as a service. So now we are going to run again. So copy our public IP for address and our port number is 9090 as you know. And here you can see Prometheus and click on status and click on command line flags. And here you can see configuration file and the path of our configuration file. So copy the path and now we are going to open our configuration files. That means our Prometheus.yml. So clear the screen first and now run the command sudo nano and your path uh, local location of your configuration file so you can see uh, our configuration file so let's under, understand the code first so firstly you can see the global block so in global blocks control the prometheus server global configuration so inside the global blocks there is two options so you can see the first is scrap interval and second is evaluation interval. So let's understand the first scrap interval. So scrap interval, what time I need to scrap the endpoints in which how much a time period I need to go to the endpoint and I need to collect the data. So my scrap interval is 15 seconds and uh, as can be seen from comments, uh, the scrap interval to every 15 seconds and default is every one minute. So the next block is evaluation interval. So the eval uh, it says the 15 seconds and evaluation interval controls how often Prometheus will evaluate the rules that you have defined in your rule file. And here you can see in comments, evaluate rule every 15 seconds and the default is every one minute. Then the next is alert manager configuration here. So the alerting blocks, so I don't have any alert manager as of now, and this is specifies the setting related to alert manager. Then you can see the next is rules files here. So the rule files blocks, so it defines the location of any rule files. So for now, I don't have any rules. Then the next block is, you can see here, scrap configuration. So the last box, scrap configuration controls what resources Prometheus monitors. Since Prometheus also exposes data about itself as at HTTP endpoints and it can scrap the monitor its own health. And in the default configuration, there is a single job called Prometheus. You can see a job name Prometheus. Then which scrap that means series data exports by the Prometheus server and the job contains a single statically configured target the lo uh, localhost on the port 9090 here you can see static configuration and in target localhost 9090 and comments you can see matrix paths default to slash matrix so if you copy your ip address and here your port number is 9090 and slash matrix okay. 
So here you can see matrix. So that's our configuration file. The sample configuration file that uh, when we install uh, Prometheus, that's a default sample configuration file is also install, uh, downloaded. So now the next is placeholders. So to uh, sorry, uh, in configuration file, if you don't know any meaning of placeholder, so here firstly we need to understand close placeholder one by one, then we will understand different configuration files. So to specify which configuration file to load the users config.file flag. So the generic placeholders are defined as follows. So uh, let's understand. So Boolean. So if you have Boolean in our uh, configuration file, so the Boolean means that can take the values true or false only. So then the duration. So the duration matching the regular expression like year, week, day, hour, minute, seconds, milliseconds. Then file name. So a valid path in the current working directory. And then host name, a host valid string consisting of a host name or IP followed by the optional port number. Then integer, so integer is any number, that means an integer value. Then label name, a string matching the regular expression like small a to z, capital A to z or any number. Then label value, or a, a string of Unicode characters. Then path, a valid URL. In a scheme, a string that can take the values HTTP or HTTPS and a secret. Also, secret includes password, Unicode, like secret keys and all. So the regular string uh, that is a secret such as a password. Then string, a regular string. And in a size, a size in a bytes, for example, 512 MB, like that. Then TMPL string, that means template string. So a string which is template expanded before uses. So that's the uh, placeholders. So the next is different types of configuration files and it uses. So here are some uh, few configuration files. You can see a scrap config, TLS config, authentication, then file SD. So, so the scrap config is a scrap configuration section specifies a set of targets and parameters describing how to scrap them. And in a general case, a one scrap configuration specifies a single job in advanced configuration, this may change. Then TLS config. So TLS means transport layer security. So TLS config always configuration TLS connection. Then authentication. So auth 2.0 authentication using the client credentials grant type. And Prometheus fetches an access token from the specifies endpoint with the given client access and secret key. Then file SD configuration. That means file-based service discovery provides a more generic way to configure static target and serves as an interface to plug in custom service discovery mechanism. Then the next is uh, metric label configs, alert label config, alert manager config. So these are few configuration files. Here you can see the different configuration file types you can see so for configuration file so you can go to the official page of uh, prometheus so you can see uh, the official page of prometheus here so if you click on prometheus and click on configuration here the configuration file so here you can see the number of configuration files listed and here you need to choose a version of your Prometheus. So my version is 2.31 and it is latest and upcoming is 2.32. So select the version and you can see the configuration files. So let's understand one by one. So scrap interval, scrap config, then TLS. In so now we are going to check this Azure SD configuration. So the Azure SD configuration, Azure SD configuration allows retrieving scrap target from Azure, uh, Azure, uh, Azure VMS and the following meta labels are available on target during. You can see a meta Azure machine ID, that means the machine ID, then meta mechanism location, that means the location of your machine runs and meta Azure machine name, that's the machine name. So you can check from here. So the next is. 
कंसोल एस डी कॉन्फिक सो यू कैन सी आर द फॉलोइंग मेटा लेबल्स सो मेटा कंसोल एड्रेस दैट मीन्स द एड्रेस ऑफ टारगेट दैट मीन्स कंसोल डी सी मीन्स डेटा सेंटर नेम ऑफ टारगेट देन कंसोल मेटा कंसोल हेल्थ मीन्स द हेल्थ स्टेटस ऑफ द सर्विस एंड द कंसोल एस डी कॉन्फिडेशन यूजेज द कॉन्फिडेशन ऑलोविंग रिट्राइविंग स्क्रैप टारगेट फ्रॉम कंसोल्स कैटलॉग एपीआई देन the next is digital ocean esd configuration so the digital ocean esd configuration allow retrieving scrap target from digital ocean droplets api and the service discovery uses the public ipv4 address by default that can be changed with relabeling as demonstrated in the prometheus digital ocean esd configuration file so also you can see the following meta labels are available on the target you can see the meta digital ocean drop id the name image so you can see the meanings and the next is docker sd configuration so docker sd configuration allows retrieving scrap target from docker engine host and this sd discover containers and will create a target for each network ip and port the container in configured to export so available meta labels you can see the meta labels and you can check it from uh, prometheus official site then docker swarm and sd configuration so you can see the service the service role discover all swarm service and exposes their port as target and for each published port of a service a single target generated and if a service has no published port a target per service is created using the port parameter defined as the sd configuration and docker swarm sd configuration allowing retrieving scrap target from docker swarm engine and one of the following roles can be configured to the discover targets so here also available meta levels you can check it then the next is dns sd configuration so the dns based service discovery configuration allows specifying a sets of dns domain names which are period periodically uh, queries to discover a list of targets and the dns servers to be consulted are uh, are read from here from this particular directory etc resolve.config you can see here. you can check it from here then the next is open stack sd configuration so you can see here also meta labels so then instance so open stack sd configuration allows retrieving scrap target from open stack nova instances and one of the following open stack roles types can be configured a discover target then the hypervisor uh, role discover one target per nora nova hypervisor node the target address default to the host ip and uh, attribute of the hypervisor so the following labels meta labels you can check from here then instances then the next is here you can see puppet db sd configuration so it uses puppet db sd configuration allows retrieving scrap target from puppet db resource and the sd discover resources and will create a target for each resources returned by the apis and the resource address is the certain name of the resource and change during relabeling and you can see the meta labels also then file sd configuration then you can see gc sd configuration so gc sd configuration allows retrieving scrap target from gcp gc instance and the private ip address is used by the default but may change to the public ip address with relabeling so you can check here the for meta labels you can see the meta gc instance id and the name that means the name of your instance then gc label name that means the each gc label of the instance then gc machine type so the full for partial partial url from the machine types of the instance so you can see uh, check the meta labels from here then its uh, configuration then If you scroll down, you can see here HTTP SD configuration. So you can check it from here. So here the 
example of response body so you can see here the http based service discovery provides a more generic way to configure static targets and serves as an interface to plug in custom service discovery mechanism and it fetches target from an http endpoints and containing a list of zeros or more static configuration so the targets must replay with an http 200 response the http header contains type and must application json and the body must be valid on json so you can see the um, response body so target that means host name in labels labels label hello if you click on label name so what is the label name so you can see here so the a string machine the regular expression that means this small a to small z capital to capital z and the number that means the label name then here if you click on alert manager configurations you can say alert manager configuration uh, section specifies alert manager instance the prometheus serves sends alert to it also provides parameters to configure how communicate with this alert manager so here then if you scroll down there are uh, so many lots of uh, different configuration files here remote ride so you can check it from official site so you can see here the lots of configuration files here and now here if you click on status and if you go to the prometheus uh, that we access in our browser and if you click on status and here if you click on configuration so here you can see it is the exact copy of prometheus.yml that our configuration file that we used you can see a global then alerting then scrap configuration so here you can see the same exact copy of this so that's our configuration file so here the lots of uh, there are so many different configuration file types so you can check it from prometheus official site so now in this video we have learned prometheus configuration here in this video we have learned prometheus configuration means configuration files so Thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps channel.